Hey, how everybody doing today? Thanks for tuning in with me. Um, I'm King Kevin Dorval. Welcome to my show. Catch me on Ustream now. That's the King Kevin Dorval show. All right. Now today we're going to talk about Christian dating and why is it that there's a 50 percent divorce rate amongst Christian marriages? Why is that? Why would a holy why would a righteous relationship be at a 50% divorce rate? Did you know that atheists have a much lower divorce rate than Christians, than us Christians? I mean, isn't that astounding to you? I mean, to me, when I found that, I was like, what? Man, you got to be joking. 50%? Now, you may be thinking, why is that? Why is there a 50% divorce rate amongst Christians, and I'm going to tell you why right now. Now, for those of you who had tuned in to my last uh, video regarding relationships, which was uh, titled um, "Mind Blowing," why uh, you know dealing with the strip club and, and worshiping Baal and and you know all that foolishness, you know what I'm saying, the demonic spirits and relationships, which I definitely want to get more, you know. In detail with so we're gonna we're gonna do that not necessarily on this one but tune into my show uh, which is gonna be on Wednesdays at seven o'clock you know so you see the link down here the, below anyway one of the things that I find disturbing is that a female or male would say that you know my man or woman of God told me that you are the one or you're not the one now let me tell you all something regarding that. You have to, I won't say question, but seek God. One thing that's wrong with Christians is that we put so much value on the words of another human being. Whether they're being successful or, or, or not. Whether they're rich or not. Whether they have a successful marriage or not. Definitely if they, if they are successful in business and in love and the marriage and of course you want to take advice from them but when it comes to things that are highly important and believe me everything is important in this world i want you to appreciate everything and appreciate everyone at the same time i want you to think about putting all that value on their words and and discrediting someone who is treating you right for one who loves you you both believe in god you both believe in the bible you both are are spiritually strong one may be stronger than the other, but that doesn't mean you can't co go back and then help them. You know what I'm saying? Get to the level that you're on, um, if that's the case. But you definitely want a man who has leadership capabilities and who has shown that not just a leader, but that he's capable of being consistent at it and that he seeks God in decision making. Because this is the man you're going to have your babies with. This is the woman you're going to have your babies with. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be sure that if, if it's the woman that you believe that God has spoken to you regarding, you know, being married and having kids and your whole family with, see God on that. God's not going to give you anything. He's not going to tell you anything. He's not going to give you confirmation on. So seek that confirmation. You know what I mean? It might the confirmation might come from uh, you know uh, another source. It might come in the Word of God. It might just drop in your spirit just like that. You know, uh, it may come from your man or woman of God. But at the same time, when you put that value on someone else's word and all these false prophets that are out here, the Bible talks about false prophets all the time, all the time. But we're not gonna get into that. That's a whole nother subject. That's gonna throw me off from what I'm trying to say here. But we're gonna go right quick to. 2 Corinthians um, 6 verse 14. And this is going to explain why there's so many marriages that are ending in divorce within the Christian household. Just like everybody else. As if if you didn't even go to church, you didn't believe in God, you're not a Christian. You have a, the same percentage rate of being divorced. And I want you guys to pay attention to that. But that is very critical. I'm 33 years old. I've never been engaged. I haven't been married, you know, but I do seek that, you know, don't get me wrong, don't get twisted, I do seek that, you know what I'm saying, I know there's a queen out there for me, there's a queen, a king out there for everybody, but we have to be realistic and being able to um, evaluate our lives, 
You know what I'm saying? The fact that we're what we're doing um, on a day-to-day basis, and are we being consistent? Are we being cons- are we being consistent in- consistent in living right? You know what I mean? Do we have an auspicious attitude about life? You know what I mean? And just wanting to grasp life by the horn and go after our dreams and goals and accomplish everything we put our minds to because all of that is possible. I'm living a dream right now. Now, to the Bible. Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Don't team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? Wickedness. How can light live with darkness? What harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? You feel what I'm saying? For where, for we are the temple of the living God. Our bodies are temples. So we align ourselves with people who don't, one, don't believe in God. And most importantly, after that, don't believe in us as a person. Don't believe in our dreams. Don't believe in our business that our business is going to be successful. Don't believe in the books that we are writing. You know what I mean? That's going to be successful. Don't believe that our careers will be successful. What kind of person is that? You don't, I don't care how fine, how fine this woman is, how fine this man is. You do not want to be with anybody like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they're only going to bring you down. Their words, their presence are going to be like kryptonite. You know what I mean? The, the, the more you speak with them, the more you communicate, the more you text, the more you email, the more conversations, this is going to bring your spirit down. And, and you are a very powerful person. We all have that power amongst us. But we it's our job to go out there and seek that knowledge and apply that knowledge in order to have an effective impact, which is what we all want. Results. Now... I've been hearing also another thing amongst Christian women, and I've heard it in my past relationship. I've heard it in at a, a, a dating event that my church had. Thank God, it was a singles event, and um, women were saying that I want to get married within four months, meeting a man. God tells me this is the man for me. I'm going to marry him in four months. Now, realistically, that is ridiculous, and I don't care who told you that. That is absolutely false. There's no way you can learn about a person within four months. No way you're going to know about their, their likes, their dislikes, um, their, their, their habits, all their good habits, and all their negative habits. Those fears. This person could be worshiping the devil. You ain't going to find it out in four months if they're hiding it from you. And all of a sudden, you walk home to your happily house. You know what I'm saying? Honey, I'm home, and this person in the living room lighting candles, cutting up goats, and you know what I'm saying? Drinking blood of sheep and all that craziness. You better be careful with that. That four-month stuff, man, toss that out the window. Now, when my book, my, when my dating book come out, come 2014, it might come out sooner than that. I've been working very hard on it. I'm going to touch on that, on that subject a lot. I'm going to elaborate, not just touch upon it. That is ridiculous. No, it takes at least a year. You're going to need... Four seasons, at least four seasons of a year. This person's attitude might completely change in the summer, and it was different in the winter. You don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody's happy and jolly in the winter time. It's Christmas for the most part. Those who celebrate Christmas, there's, there's many who don't celebrate Christmas. I'm not gonna touch upon that, but I will in one of these other videos. But you know what I mean? This person might be all jolly in the beginning of the year, and then. You don't know who the hell this person is. I've been in a relationship a year and a half. One, one of my relationships. I'm not going to say who this person was because everyone's going to talk and yada, yada, yada. Those who've fought, been following me for years on YouTube and um, on Facebook and Twitter, which is the courage to believe. Um, I was pretty sure I, I knew this female. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I, you know, I was really close to engaging to her. There's only two females in my lifetime I, I, I nearly engaged to. You know what I'm saying? But I was hesitant. Something was hesitant. I kind of want to present them with a prenuptial agreement. You know what I mean? At some point, it crossed my mind, even though I never mentioned it. But I didn't know what was going on. It's like, all of a sudden, she flipped mode. You know what I mean? Like, as if I don't even know who this person is. I'm like, look, I don't know who you are, but I want the female that I fell in love with back. I don't know who sent you, because you know 
The enemy going to send different spirits at you to try to attack you, to bring down your dreams, to cause you not to believe in yourself, you know what I mean? To, to, to question, to question you as a man or you as a woman of God, you feel me? So you got to be careful of that. They're not only false prophets, but there's false love out there. Now everybody who, who you know what I'm saying, who gives it to you right in bed, you know, who makes you scream and holler, is the one that you should be marrying. And everybody going, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot of men out here with, with a good, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say the word, but a good bed game, put it like that. You know what I'm saying, there's a lot of women who got a good head game. You know what I'm saying, who, who give a man head and drive him crazy. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of women who who, who can feed you, knowing the man we, we 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 live by our stomach. You know what I'm saying? Know that can feed you and then give it to you right in bed, right the hell out you in bed, making you drive crazy. But at the same time, they're they're making you bring down your walls, your spiritual walls, causing you to lose power. To lose the part that God has given you. You know what I'm saying? That's why there's so much sex being sold on TV. That's why there's so much sex being sold on the radio. Because they know that. The system knows that. The government knows that. Why do you think there's, there's like all these AIDS cases? There's like, what, five and a half thousand HIV AIDS cases in Florida alone? Florida's number two in AIDS cases. I forget who's number one. I believe it's either California or New York. But I know for, for a fact, since I'm in Florida, Florida's number two. So get together, people. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. Um, uh, again, my Ustream is The King Kevin Dorval Radio. You know what I'm saying? Radio show, which is not really a radio show. It's an internet show. But um, I'm going to speak that to existence. Catch me on uh, Twitter, Courage2, the number two, Believe. Facebook, the Courage to Believe book. I'm Kevin Dorval. I have a Facebook on that as well. And just holler at me. I want your feedback, your opinion, your comments, your likes. Share this. And let's see why the divorce rate is so big and what we can do about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And, um, of course, I have a book out now, The Courage to Believe. And stay tuned for my other books coming out soon. So I'm just a man on, on the rise, on the grind. And um, stay encouraged and take care of the woman or man you got right now. Show them that you appreciate them. Blessings to you.